Alright guys, in today's video, I'm not going to be making anything. So what? You heard. I'm not going to be making anything because it's already been made. Today, I'm going to show you my pedal boat. My boat has been in every single video I've made in this garage. I finished it about 12 months ago. It took me nearly eight months to build it. The first thing I did was make this plan. And today is the first day that I can take it out of the garage and get it back on the water. There's loads of reasons I've not been able to take it out. Bad weather, wrong time of year, wrong tide, coronavirus lockdown, all sorts of reasons. But today, I've got a chance of getting it out. But the first thing I have to do is tidy up. Let's get tidying. When I made my boat, I fitted all the interior before I fitted this here. So now what I've got to do is I've got to make myself a little access panel down there. I've cut the panel out, stuck it back on with tape, and now I need to make some strips that go all the way around the edge of the panel so that when I put the panel in, it stops it falling through the hole. made a little handle so that I can take the panel on and off it's going to fit that in place now Now that I've finished this off, to stop it falling off, what I've done is I've fitted it with an elastic underneath. It clips onto a hook, keeps it secure. My boat is a two-seater pedal boat. It's got four pedals and it can be pedalled by the driver, the passenger or both at the same time. The pedal shaft is mounted with these bearings and when you pedal it turns a 6mm scooter chain which then turns the head off an angle grinder with a sprocket fitted to it. It's got a chain tensioner to stop the chain bouncing off the sprockets. When the angle grinder head turns round, it drives through 90 degrees, which then turns a shaft, 
which then turns a propeller. The shaft runs down a tube which is inside this key. I fill the shaft full of grease but just in case any water does get up the head of the shaft inside the boat is above the water line so no water can get out. Although the propeller looks all metal this piece is actually an old cone off my model aeroplane. I just blended it in and painted it black like the rest. Just there you can see the head off the 90 degree angle grinder. And if I move the chain you can see how it works. There's the shaft and you can see it spinning just. For the steering I made it dead simple. Push pull cables. I made myself a disc, I fitted it to a threaded bar and I fitted that to the steering wheel. When you turn the steering wheel it pulls and pushes the strings which turns the rudder and everything is hidden in the side walls of the boat and I've hidden all the rudder controls underneath this little box which is removable in case I need to work with it it's the simplest thing I could think of The steering wheel, the dashboard and the windows are all made the way they are for a reason. The reason that the steering wheel is cut out and the reason that the dashboard has got this wavy effect is so that when I'm pedalling I don't bang my knees on them. And the reason that the windscreen is so low is so I can see over the top of it. I wanted to have a windscreen but I didn't want a really high one because I think it spoiled the looks. I've missed the tide again. But it doesn't matter because it's a bit windy anyway. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to do a, a little modification on my boat so that I can carry my paddle and my fishing rod. And then I'll probably be out on my boat tomorrow. But for you guys, that'll be in a couple of minutes. So no worries. Catch you in a minute. <laughs> to find something to tow it to the beach with. If you ask anybody, what would you tow it to the beach with? Everybody says the same thing. A Batmobile, obviously. So all I have to do now is fill it with fuel and away we go. Oh no, there's none left. That means I'm going to have to find something else to tow it with now. Don't worry about me, I'll just have to do it this way.
need a bigger boat. Well, it's just a little bit windy out there for me today in the sea. So I've drove it, uh, I brought it back into the harbour. Well, I'm going to cut the sound there because I forgot the muffler for my microphone and the wind noise was absolutely horrendous. So now I'm going to speed the footage up and you can see me pedal it back into the harbour. Now I've got to put it on the trailer and pedal it all the way back home. Catch you next time.